provided support, guidance, funding, and encouragement. And I just want to say it was my honor to serve in this capacity. And I want to thank our generous donors, including our local Floyd Hardware, for their generous donations. Uh, we have a donor list available if anybody wants coffee over here. And our volunteer painters, and especially our very talented artist, Mary Thomas. We're thrilled to publicly unveil this beautiful and colorful mural to the Saudi Daisy community and hope that it will inspire a lot of future art projects. And with that, I'd like to introduce our professional artist, Mary Thomas. Thank you, Terry. That's awesome. Um, so my husband and I retired here in 2020. So I was relatively new in town and I actually heard about the mural contest through two of 90-year-old uh, friends of mine in the community in which I live. And uh, she sent me the article and said, you've got to do it. So I said, well, if two 90-year-olds thought it was something I should do, then I better give it a shot. So I did, and um, I submitted two designs and then I was chosen. So I was really super excited about that. So the designs that I did were based on my first impression of Saudi Daisy. And so you will see a lot of the uh, things in Saudi Daisy, like the creeks, the fishing, the outdoor activities, the riding of bikes, the flowers, the nature, the mountains, the churches, and of course, the patriotic aspects of Saudi Daisy. So I can't thank my, uh, my contributors enough. I had over 20 volunteers. It took us actually uh, to paint the mural, it took about a week and a half. And so I was really happy about that. I'm 69 years old and I've decided that I will not be on scaffolding much longer <laughs> because it was it was a chore 
Um, but uh, Pam was super, super great because she fed us, you know, when we were starving. And um, Terry was awesome. Uh, she just did everything, jumped through all the hoops that needed, uh, was necessary. It was really uh, all hands on deck. So it was just a wonderful experience. I'm loving the community so much. And I just have gotten so many good responses from the piece that it just makes me happy and that's why we call it a happy place. So I thank you so much for all of our wonderful donors and our volunteers. It's been an awesome experience and I hope there's more of those to come. Does anybody have any questions for Carrie or Mary while we have them here about the project or anything like that? What's next? What's next? <laughs> <laughs> well, for us, we have to decide what we're going to do. We would definitely like to do some more art projects in the future, um, but we're going to be getting together and kind of figuring out what our priorities are for next year because there's only so many things that we can do, unfortunately, just because we need, unless we get more volunteers more volunteers, we can do more things. So um, I know the speed shop has already contacted us though. They said they would like a mural. So we have some businesses that have been reaching out and saying that they would love to have a mural as well. Um, but yeah, it's very wonderful. I love driving by here and seeing it now. So anything else? Thank you for <laughs> well, it's our pleasure. Um, please, please have some coffee, have some donuts, whatever we don't eat. I got to bring over to the cops, I guess, in the, in the in community. Or, yeah, I'll bring over to Steve and all of them and the police and maybe the fire department. I don't know. We have a lot, so please eat some. There's some orange juice, too. Okay, well, I guess that concludes our uh, unveiling. Thank you.